we are going to be looking at how to graph a line using slope. This asks us to graph the line that has a slope of negative 3 over 8 and includes the point 8, 5. Okay, well, if we know it includes the point 8, 5, we can start by plotting that point. Remember, when you have an ordered pair, it's always in the form x, y, meaning the x coordinate comes first and the y coordinate comes second. This is important because the x-axis is the one that goes left to right, so that first x-coordinate tells us how far to move to the right or the left. And the y-axis the is the, one, the vertical axis going up and down. So the y-coordinate, or the second coordinate, tells us how far to move up or down. So since it's a positive 8, we're going to go 8 to the right. And then it's a positive 5 for our y-coordinate, we're going to go 5 up. So we're going to start by plotting this point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to the right and up 5. Now you always need a starting point before you can use the slope. And then we're going to use our slope to count from that starting point, in this case 8, 5, to another point that we have on the graph. So to keep in mind, your slope always means rise over run. So slope is rise over run. So if it's a positive number, we go up and then to the right. If it's a negative slope, we go down and to the right. So since we have a rise of negative 3, that tells us to go down 3. And then a run of 8 would be 8 to the right. So normally, I would try to count my slope by going down 1, 2, 3, and over 8 to the right. Now, in this case, you can see that I have a little bit of an issue. If I try to go down 3 and over 8, I'm going to run out of graph before I move 8 to the right. So I can reverse it if I go Instead of down 3, 8 to the right, I can also just put my negative on the bottom instead. So basically, if I reverse it, since I ran out of graph, I could say, okay, in that case, I'm going to go up 3 and move 8 to the left. 1, 2, 3, up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you can see that's going to land me right here at 0, 8. Okay, and a little easier to see how I counted that out now that we have our points on the graph. And if you're not sure about that reversing it, notice normally when we count out the slope, we go from left to right like reading a book. So you can do a double check and count it from the left point to the right. So notice it's the same thing. If I started here, I could go down 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the reason that works is because even though we normally think of it as moving left to right, that negative in front of the fraction really could be grouped with either the top or the bottom. This time we're going to graph the line with a slope of negative 2 over 9 and includes the point 9, 7. All right, so we already talked about the x and y coordinates. So to plot 9, 7, we're going to go 9 to the right and up 7. And then from that starting point, we could count out our slope. And again, normally I would think of this when I say rise over run. I could think of it as down 2 and over 9. But, again, I'm going to run into the same problem as last time. If I go down 2, I'm not going to have enough room on my graph to go 9 spaces over. So instead, I'm just going to group the negative on the bottom, which basically tells me that I'm going to go up 2, and I'm going to reverse. Instead of going down, I'm going to go up 2 and left 9. That negative is basically going to tell me move left instead of right. So from this point, I'm going to count. 
up to and left, remember I'm going left instead of right because of that negative, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, if you kind of count this in the normal direction that we think of as left to right, we can go from here to here and say, yes, this is the same thing as going down one, two, over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So again, just to recap, when you have that negative slope, that negative sign could be grouped on the top or the bottom. So normally, if we had a positive rise over run, we would think of it as moving up and to the right. And then you would just reverse whichever direction you put the negative on. So if I put the negative on the top, I would go down two and right nine. If I decide to group the negative on the bottom, I would go up two and left nine instead of right. So think of that negative as just switching the direction wherever you place it. This time we're going to graph a line that has a slope of 5 and includes the point 7, 3. So 7, 3 means we're going to go 7 to the right and up 1, 2, 3. And then in this case, when I think of my slope, I always want to think of my slope as a fraction because remember we said our slope is rise over run. In this case, my slope was a whole number, an integer, 5, but I can make that a fraction because remember 5 is the same thing as 5 over 1. So if I go to count out my slope, I could simply go up 5 and over 1. Right? Because rise means up or down, run means over, and they're both positive, so I'm going to move up and to the right. So from the point that I already have, I'm counting up, one, two, three, four, five for my rise of five and over one for my run of one. This time we want to graph the line that has a slope of one over eight and includes the point one, two. Okay, so I'm going to start with my starting point one, two, tells me to go one to the right and then up two. From there, I want to count out a slope of 1 over 8. And remember, we already said our slope is always rise over run. So when I look at my fraction, my rise is 1, meaning I'm going to go up 1. And my run is 8, meaning I'm going to go over 8. And since it's positive, I'm moving up and to the right. So from my point, I'm going to go up 1 and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oops, I messed up the cursor, I'll count it out so you can follow me, up 1, and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Graph the line that has a slope of negative 1 over 9 and includes the point 10, 8. Okay, so we're going to start by plotting the point 10, 8. That's telling us to move 10 to the right and 8 up. And then from that starting point, we are going to think of our slope as rise over run. Now notice it's a negative. So I get to pick whether I want to group that negative with the 1 or the 9. So I'm just going to see which, which I have room for. Do I have room to go down 1 and over 9? No, because I don't have room on my graph to move 9 places. So instead, I'm going to group that negative on the bottom and say, I'm going to go up 1 and left 9. Okay, so essentially up 1, since I left it as a positive 1, and that negative 9 is telling me to move to the left instead of the right. So from my starting point, I'm going up 1 and left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 